Alright, what's going on good people? This is Alex here, and I am back with another video. Uh, something <laughs> crazy happened today. It's a uh, Friday night, and I've been out with some friends, you know, just doing some stuff. Going to corner shop, getting some food, and just chatting about stuff. And the, the craziest thing happened. I can't even believe it happened. We were just sitting in a small circle right before all this happened, and... Some people were, like, passing around a spliff. I I didn't have any. I just... I didn't want to do any of that stuff, but... So, yeah, that that was happening. And then we uh, walked off to Spa. I don't know if you've heard of Spa. It's like a pound land or, uh, like, a corner shop kind of thing. A small shop where you can just get, like, sweets and food in uh, and, and stuff like that. There's even a subway in the back, but that, that doesn't really matter. But uh, we went to there to get some stuff, and me and one of my friends put in a pound each, which is like $1.50 each, and we got a bottle of cherry coke each, and uh, I, I got another sweet thing, but that doesn't really matter, and we walked down to one of the takeaway places, and we were sat outside there, there was about, I think five or six of us, and I was sat down on one of the, the porches outside the restaurant, and, and there was this tall guy, he was just standing on the pavement, and this homeless uh, alcoholic walks up to him and he sees him littering, right? And he, he starts having a go at him for littering, which I guess is kind of fair enough, but he was having a, a proper go at him. And then he turns around and walks up to four or five of us sitting down on this porch, and he points his finger at one of my friends, a uh, close friend called George. He points at him and says, all right, where's your litter? And he just had the bottle of Coke that we split on. And it's like, no, this is the only thing I've got. He's like, yeah, right. And then he noticed that he was drinking the Coke. And he goes on about how much sugar there is in a can. And then he said that there are like eight cans in a bottle or something ridiculous. And the reason he went on about that was because he was talking about how his addiction for alcohol was because of the amount of sugar in the Coke cans. And I turn around and say, well, I'm not an alcoholic and that I've been drinking shit like this for ages and I'm not addicted to alcohol. And then he points at me and he says that I'm a posh cunt that takes away money from him. And let alone that, he also said the next generation when I have my kids, it's going to be even harder for me to live. And I... <laughs> And I just mentioned, well, I'm not the fucking alcoholic here, am I? And <laughs> the people around me were saying, he is not even close to being a posh cunt. What are you on about? He's not posh at all. And I'm not. I might sound it, but uh, I'm not. And he keeps having a go at us for a while. And then he walks off. And he's been calling me a fucking alcoholic for like the last 10 minutes. So I go ahead and say this. I said, yeah, it's all right, man. I'll be a crackhead by tomorrow. <laughs> And he cut, he turns around, and he comes comes back. It looks like he's going to walk past us, but he doesn't. He turns, and he points his middle finger straight up at me, and then goes on to lecture me about one of how, like, one of his family members, I think his wife or something, or his ex-wife, was a crackhead herself, <laughs> and that posh cunts like me are the reason people don't want to admit to doing it. Uh, and he says, oh, yeah, but you've been drinking alcohol, um, and it's no different to that, because I'm, I'm an alcoholic, and she's a crackhead, and the only difference is because the thing I'm doing is legal, the thing she's doing is illegal. I just, I, I said, well, I'm not an alcoholic. And he's like, oh, yeah, how do you know that? I said, I've had one drink in my entire life. And then he just decides to completely switch personality, and then he, he just puts his hand out in front of me, and he's like, oh, good for you, it, like, to handshake me. I'm like, yeah, man, my hand's sticky, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so I, I just, like, leave him hanging. So, yeah, so after he went to give me a handshake, he, he said, good man, because alcohol is the devil's son. And he walks off, and then the friend next to me, uh, George says, thanks, bud, and it's just, I can't even believe that happened, man, like, you just fucking came up to me accusing me of fucking being, being an alcoholic, like, just fucking take a look at yourself, what are you doing, and he just stands outside of pubs, right, and people drinking alcohol, he, he fucking gets out his middle finger and just points it through the window at them when they're drinking alcohol, it's just, what is your fucking problem, man? 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Uh, I ca I just I can't believe any of that happened, but it was perfect to upload a video about it. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I think my commentary skills have improved a little bit, especially because it's a more interesting topic to talk about. But yeah, I hope you all have a good night, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.